second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous. Although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous. We would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please you. And the parents 
There was no one who had a monopoly on the sense of God's love. Jesus came to redeem all creation, everyone. It didn't matter who or where you were, what you came from. He died for us, everyone. He wanted that understanding that as members of the kingdom, his disciples were to go out and invite others. They were to go out and proclaim the kingdom by living it, and by living it, others would see and want to also share in it. And so that is the responsibility we have as our faith develops within us, as that faith grows each and every day, especially when we celebrate the sacrament, when we have a strong prayer of when we communicate to God and listen to God, it helps that faith to grow stronger each time so that the fruit it produces is that it helps us be good witnesses. It helps us to avoid temptation. It helps us to be more forgiving and kind. It helps us to be more Christly in how we live and what we say and do. And in doing that, then we proclaim the kingdom. When you leave here today, you leave here as a witness to the kingdom so that no matter where you're going, back home, in the park, shopping, wherever it is, you proclaim the kingdom by the manner of life, by the kindness and charity you have. The fruits of that kingdom that grow within us is mercy, patience, understanding, love, forgiveness, healing. These are the fruits of the kingdom that we are called to have, to live, and to share. Now, we're into the midst of summer. Schools are closing, and now we're seeing things seem to be returning to somewhat normal. Many families are going on right on vacations, traveling. Even within the church, we call this ordinary time. But it isn't ordinary. It shouldn't be. Every time we celebrate the Mass, it is the extraordinary event of Christ's love. Every time we receive the sacrament, it is the extraordinary outpouring of His gift of Himself to us. And so don't feel that we just go back to normal. Every time you attend Mass, you should have the feeling, the excitement, the zeal that it's Christmas and Easter together. It is an ordinary. This is a gift. It is an invitation. It is the gateway to the kingdom. And as we celebrate it, as we live it, we do it all year round. We do it every day. We don't do it only during seasons that are penitential, or the seasons that are joyful, but in our every ordinary day living, we proclaim the kingdom by living. So my dear friends, May each of us recognize that gift of faith. May we nurture that seed within us and how we live. And may we share it with our words and actions so that others may see the good fruit of Christ present within us and seek to have it themselves and to also share in the gift of the kingdom.